While the world's attention is often focused on geopolitics, a different kind of story is unfolding across Russia's 11 time zones. It's a story told in concrete, steel, and fiber optics. Quietly but with immense ambition, Russia has been pushing forward a wave of massive mega projects. These aren't just roads and bridges. They're multi-billion dollar ventures designed to reshape energy maps, redefine transportation, and project a new image of Russian innovation. As we move through 2025, many of these colossal undertakings are at a pivotal stage, signaling a crucial moment for the nation's future. What we're about to explore are more than just construction sites. They are calculated moves in a global chess game designed to secure resources, forge new paths, and build a modern Russia for the 21st century. So what exactly is Russia building and what does it all mean? For decades, Russia has been a resource giant fighting the immense challenges of its own geography, a vast territory defined by harsh climates and staggering distances. Now, a series of groundbreaking mega projects are aiming to turn those geographic disadvantages into strategic strengths. From the frozen heart of the Arctic to the bustling cities of the West, Russia is pouring hundreds of billions of dollars into ventures that could unlock new economic arteries. These are the projects that aim to make Russia not just a supplier of raw materials, but a master of logistics, technology, and urban innovation. Number one, the Moscow-St. Petersburg High-Speed Rail, HSR-1. Our first stop is probably the most symbolic of Russia's push for modernization, the planned Moscow-St. Petersburg High-Speed Railway. For centuries, these two cities have been the twin hearts of Russia, Moscow, the political and economic core, and St. Petersburg, the cultural window to Europe. Connecting them has always been a priority. The current Sapsen trains are fairly modern, but they run on older, upgraded tracks. The HSR-1 is meant to be something else entirely. This is a purpose-built high-speed corridor stretching 679 kilometers, designed for a new generation of Russian-built trains dubbed the White Jerfalcon, to hit speeds up to 360 kilometers per hour. The result? The journey between Russia's two largest cities would be slashed from four hours to just two hours and 15 minutes. It would be faster to take the train from downtown Moscow to downtown St. Petersburg than it would be to fly once you factor in airport travel and security. The scale is immense, with an estimated cost soaring to over 2.3 trillion rubles, or about $26 billion. However, here's the reality check. While the project is a top priority, its timeline has become uncertain. The original goal was to kick off major construction phases in 2025 for a 2028 opening, but the project has faced delays. The White Gear Falcon train itself is still in the design phase, with a prototype not expected until 2027 at the earliest. If it succeeds, it will be a powerful symbol of Russia's technological resilience, but for now, it remains an incredibly ambitious goal. Number two, the urban metamorphosis of Moscow. While the high-speed rail aims to connect Russia's great cities, an equally ambitious transformation is unfolding within its capital. Moscow, a sprawling megapolis of over 12 million people, is in the middle of one of the planet's largest urban renewal programs. At the heart of this is the Moscow Renovation Program. Launched in 2017, this colossal undertaking involves demolishing over 5,100 dilapidated Soviet-era apartment blocks and relocating some 1.6 million residents into modern high-rises. The program is moving in stages, with the second phase running from 2025 to 2028, aiming to resettle hundreds of thousands of residents. In 2025 alone, the city also plans to carry out major repairs on more than 12,400 other apartment buildings, improving housing for many more Muscovites. But it isn't just about new housing. The city is being re-engineered for the 21st century under the Smart City 2030 strategy. This involves creating unified city navigation with thousands of new smart signs and upgrading public spaces. And of course, there's Moscow's infamous traffic. The city is working to complete the Moscow Central Ring Road, CKA Dai, a massive orbital highway designed to divert traffic. This work complements the relentless expansion of the Moscow Metro. This comes on the heels of the completion of the Big Circle Line in 2023, which is now the longest circular metro line on Earth. While plans for new lines like the Troitskaya and Rubliovo-Arkhangelskaya are in motion, 
the pace of their completion remains a long-term goal. Number three, Sputnik and Yuzhny, Russia's planned cities of the future. Beyond simply renovating its existing urban centers, Russia is now setting its sights on an even more ambitious goal, constructing entirely new high-tech cities from the ground up. These projects are not just about expanding infrastructure, but about reimagining what future cities should look like in terms of design, sustainability, and technological integration. Two of the most notable examples in this new wave of development are the Sputnik Smart City near Moscow and the Yuzhny Satellite City near St. Petersburg. Sputnik is envisioned as a bold experiment in 21st century living. Planned to host up to half a million residents, the city's design emphasizes advanced digital infrastructure, smart technologies, and eco-friendly solutions. The blueprint includes sustainable housing, efficient public transport systems, and innovative green spaces that aim to balance urban growth with environmental responsibility. If realized, Sputnik would not only provide homes, but also serve as a showcase of Russia's commitment to building technologically advanced and livable urban areas. Meanwhile, the Yuzhny satellite city near St. Petersburg is being designed as another hub of innovation. The project is tied closely to the strategy of creating high-tech industrial clusters that can attract investment, foster research, and drive economic growth. Although both Sputnik and Yuzhny remain largely in the planning and early infrastructure phases as of 2025, they reflect a significant shift in Russia's urban development strategy. Rather than focusing solely on modernizing old cities, these projects aim to create ideal urban environments from scratch, though the journey from blueprints to bustling communities will likely take many more years. Number four, the National Space Center. Now for a project that appears to be right on schedule and is genuinely reaching for the stars. In Moscow, construction is almost complete on a massive new complex that will soon serve as the nerve center for Russia's entire space program. Known as the National Space Center, this ambitious project is scheduled to open its doors in 2025. Its creation represents not only an architectural achievement, but also a powerful statement of Russia's enduring ambition to remain a dominant force in space exploration. Spanning an impressive 250,000 square meters, the National Space Center is designed to bring together all the scattered elements of Roscosmos, the state space agency, under one unified roof. For decades, Russia's space institutions have been spread across multiple locations, often creating logistical challenges and inefficiencies. This new facility will centralize critical departments, including design bureaus, mission control operations, and the corporate headquarters of major space enterprises. The centerpiece of the complex is a striking 47-story skyscraper, architecturally designed to resemble a towering rocket poised for launch. Beyond its symbolic design, the building reflects Russia's desire to project confidence and innovation at a time when international competition in space is intensifying. The timing of this project is critical. With Roscosmos facing mounting challenges and rivals advancing rapidly, the center is intended to streamline operations, foster collaboration, and accelerate the development of cutting-edge technologies such as the proposed Russian Orbital Service Station. The 2025 opening is more than the unveiling of a new building. It marks a strategic pivot toward greater integration, resilience, and long-term self-sufficiency in Russia's space program. Number five, the Northern Latitudinal Railway and Yamal LNG. Next, we journey to one of the most inhospitable yet resource-rich regions on Earth, the Russian Arctic. This vast and icy frontier is both a challenge and an opportunity, holding immense untapped energy reserves beneath its frozen landscapes. For Russia, it represents a bold gamble, one that could reshape global energy markets while unlocking a new shipping highway between Europe and Asia as Arctic ice continues to recede. At the center of this vision stands the Yamal LNG project, spearheaded by Novatech. This colossal plant, built under extreme conditions, liquefies natural gas and ships it to customers across the world. It has already proven itself to be a remarkable success, becoming a cornerstone of Russia's ambitions to rise as a leading global LNG exporter. Yamal is more than just an energy hub. It symbolizes Russia's determination to transform the Arctic into a powerhouse of economic activity. Yet ambition collides with reality in this unforgiving environment. 
Future expansions, most notably the massive Arctic LNG-2 project, have hit serious roadblocks. International sanctions, coupled with enormous technical and logistical challenges, have slowed progress significantly. While the project remains underway, it is unlikely to be fully operational in 2025 as originally envisioned. Transporting these resources is another monumental hurdle. To solve this, Russia has pinned hopes on the Northern Latitudinal Railway, NLR. This planned 707-kilometer steel artery would link the Yamal Peninsula to Russia's broader rail network, enabling up to 24 million tons of cargo to move annually. However, like many Arctic projects, it too has faced funding struggles, repeated delays, and even reports of suspension. While the Arctic remains a centerpiece of Russia's strategic future, its grand projects are increasingly tested by nature, politics, and economics. Number six, the Lakta Center, two and three. Our final stop takes us back to St. Petersburg, a city renowned for its cultural heritage, elegant canals, and striking architecture. But this time, we are not looking at the city's historic cathedrals or classical palaces. Instead, our eyes turn to the skies, or at least to the ambitious architectural visions that could redefine the city's skyline in the years to come. St. Petersburg is already home to the Lakta Center, a gleaming glass tower that proudly stands as the tallest building in Europe. Rising 462 meters above the Gulf of Finland, it has become a modern symbol of Russian engineering and ambition. Yet, despite its impressive stature, new proposals aim to push the boundaries of height and design even further. In 2021, architects unveiled bold plans for Lakta Center 2. If realized, this tower would soar to a jaw-dropping 703 meters, instantly becoming the second tallest building in the world, just behind Dubai's Burj Khalifa. Alongside it, discussions have also included a third skyscraper, Lakta Center 3, designed to reach 555 meters. Together, these three monumental structures would form a futuristic cluster, dominating the St. Petersburg waterfront and reshaping the city's global image. However, it is important to clarify where these projects currently stand. As of 2025, they remain spectacular proposals rather than active construction projects. While design work and conceptual planning may continue, there has been no official confirmation of government approval or financial backing. For now, these skyscrapers remain a bold vision of Russia's future, a dream waiting for the chance to rise into reality. As 2025 unfolds, these Russian megaprojects exist in various states, from near completion to long-term construction to ambitious blueprints facing significant headwinds. Each one, a high-speed railway, a renewed capital, a new space command center, an Arctic passage and a skyline-defining skyscraper, is a piece of a much larger puzzle. They represent a concerted effort by Russia to modernize its economy, secure its strategic interests, and project an image of a resilient and innovative nation. Whether this grand vision will succeed in its entirety remains to be seen. The challenges are immense, but one thing is certain. These projects, in their ambition and their execution, reveal the foundations Russia is trying to engineer for its place in the 21st century. These mega projects offer a fascinating glimpse into the future Russia is trying to build. From skyscrapers that touch the clouds to railways across the frozen tundra, the scale of the ambition is undeniable. But what do you think? Given the challenges, are these projects a sign of genuine progress or are they high stakes gambles? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. And if you found this deep dive interesting, be sure to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you don't miss our next exploration.